I blow a T-Plex, your boy is C-Net, how that mag and shoddy work, can't rid this smell, with bath and body works, it's sad and probably worse, first the chroma spit, wise guys do drive-bys and don't own the whip, time come divine sons, need a song to rip, thugs and harmony, cool, I got a bone to pick. Vlogs, battles, music videos, interviews, and much more. Pushing the culture forward. No Mercy TV. Yo, what's good, y'all? No Mercy. Trap New York shit. No Mercy TV dot com. I know what time it is, man. Norbs. Jesus. What are you doing, man? Man, man, man. Um, so basically, um, y'all know Norbs was uh suing URL, you know, over whole bunch of things um partnership claims um wrongful termination and you know things of that nature there's a whole bunch of stuff y'all can you know go look up the paperwork and all that basically a lot of these things hindered on or relied on norbs being a partner with url right so if you're a partner in the company you know, you put up money, you basically share in the profits and losses, right? I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. I never looked at Norbs as no URL like partner. Like I never looked at him. Maybe it's just me. Maybe like there be times I be feeling like I'm just too smart for my own good. Like I'm just so good at reading the room and seeing like what's really going on. Norbs to me was never a URL partner. I never looked at him like that. I never looked at him like I look at Smack Beasley and Chico. Like, he never, like, I never got the inkling from him that he was uh, putting up money for, like, summer madnesses and gnomes and shit like that. Like, I never got that feeling from Norbs. Like, I, I just didn't. You know, um, he, he always just seemed like, you know, the talent scout. You know, and shit, you look at... Fuck the NBA and talent scouts. I don't think the talent scouts are partners in the company. I don't think they get, you know, a piece of the company or anything like that. So, you know, they not, the talent scouts aren't investing or putting up money into uh, the championship games or, you know, the any of the games for that matter. You understand? That's all NBA. The, the talent scouts are not paying salaries and, you know, contracts and, you know, stuff like that. So, I wouldn't expect somebody like that to be an actual partner in the company. Now, um, I know a lot of people have said, oh, they said on camera he was a partner, blah, blah, blah. That shit don't mean nothing. Like, saying somebody's a, a, a partner in something on camera is not really enough to, you know, back that up, you know, even from a legal standpoint. Like, yeah... It's technically a statement, you know, because it's said on public record, but you still have to prove that the person was involved in, you know, the day to day operations, that they was putting up money for events, you know, and taking losses and, you know, profits, which are like, you still have to be able to prove that. So even with, you know, people like Beasley getting on camera and saying that uh, he was a partner, it still doesn't validate it. You know, people get on camera and say anything. This is why Alex Jones is getting sued for $1.5 billion. Or got sued for $1.5 billion. You know, this, this is why he's running around, sitting around with Kanye, trying to, you know, go viral and get all that money back. You feel what I'm saying? But this is, you know, it's, it's not something you can't, that doesn't, you can't validate that on its own. You can't just say somebody's a partner and then they're not doing partner shit and expect it the whole way in court. You feel me? So the partnership claim in the case of Nord versus URL basically got thrown out. Now, the issue with that is there are a lot of claims in the case that rely, like I said at the beginning, that rely on Norbs having been a partner. You know, even the wrongful termination, like you can't fire a partner. You know, somebody who's investing with you, sharing the profits and losses, you can't fire that person. Like, they're not an employee, they're a partner. Like, uh, 
Smack can't fire Beasley or Chico. Chico can't fire Beasley or Smack. Beasley can't fire Smack or Chico. Why? Because they're all active partners within the brand. So you can't fire somebody like that. Um, so claims like that and anything that's based on a partnership get thrown out. So while the case isn't over yet, because there's a part in the paperwork that says, um, you know, which counts get thrown out and not all of them have gotten thrown out. But when you look at, um, you know, this, when you look at it, this was pretty much his golden ticket, that partnership shit. <laughs> and, and I've read some of the paperwork. I'm not going to hold you. I've read some of the paperwork. Like, it's been a little spicy shit back and forth, like, you know, between lawyers and certain stuff said and, like, motion hearings and shit like that that I found funny as shit. Like, me and my wife done, done read some of this shit and was, you know, just dying laughing. But, um, they, they have to... You have to be able to prove that, you know, you're a partner for a lot of that shit to stand. So... The fact that niggas didn't, like, there was a whole thing about uh, Norbs having access to the URL Facebook page and, uh, the, or was was he, uh, was he in the Facebook page? Like, did he have access or was he just a moderator? Like, it's that kind of shit they're going back and forth about, you know, trying to prove the whole partnership shit. But, um, that was his golden ticket. Like, in terms of, like... I guess this whole, what was he suing for? 40 million or something like that. In order for him to get the bulk of that, he needed to prove he was a partner. So with that being thrown out and him not being able to prove he was a partner, yeah, the case is still on. Yeah, there's other things that he might be able to um still sue for because I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, if he's labeled as an employee, then, you know, that whole Turk situation, you still might, you know, you could kind of sue your job for safety situations when, you know, stuff like that goes on. So he might, I ain't going to lie, he might get some money out of that. You feel me? But um, he can sue for stuff like that. You ain't getting nowhere near 40 million for that. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, he, he might have just went from 40 million to who knows, maybe get a, you know, a few tens of thousands, maybe a couple of hundreds of thousands, or, you know, somewhere along that line. But I'm going to keep it up. Well, I don't see him getting millions or multi-millions off of, you know, this case anymore, being that, you know, the whole partnership thing. Like, once you're n not a partner and you're looked at as just an employee, it's a big difference between a partner suing a company and an employee suing a company. And I can guarantee you an employee suing a company, especially if it's a big enough company, is not going to break their bank. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, um, it's just crazy to look at, man. And, and Norris has a wild history with URL, you know, just in terms of all of the work he's done and, you know, all of the shit he's, he's uh, put in over there. But, you know, um, so I, I got I to gotta at least, you know, be fair and, you know, give him that, that he did spend enough time over there and putting enough work to where, some of y'all might have thought he was a partner. I never in life said, yo, Norbs is on the same level as, nah, not at all. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, um, I'm interested to see, you know, where else this case is going to go. Just because, um, I, now I want to see <laughs> what the, uh, what the actual number is that, you know, if he sues for all this other shit, what, you know, there is going to be for him to get. Because, like, imagine shit come out. I right. he sued for certain stuff. They grant him to win. <laughs> the nigga get like three thousand dollars. Like that's gonna be crazy. You feel me? Like I'm pretty sure he spent more than that retaining the lawyer. You feel me? So that would just be wild. Like for him to get you know some low number like that. But um, it's interesting. It's interesting. I, I definitely want to see you know how this shit unfolds. You know what I mean? So you know this this should definitely be um interesting to watch um who knows I, I i said one day i do want to do a a blog on norbs like on some you know just breaking down what i know from you know my history from the time i've been in like in terms of like my viewpoint my 
interactions and things that I know and, you know, stuff like that. So maybe I'll do that one day. But, you know, um, just looking at this whole situation, man, it's crazy. You feel me? Um, the way his, his lawyer got destroyed by them judges, that, that should just look wild. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, let me know what y'all think in the comments. And I'll let y'all niggas soon, man. No mercy. Trap New York shit. No mercy. TV.com. We out of here. Bye.